I, uh, stories with Rosie again. Um, today we're gonna read Spells Are Poppin' Granny Shopping. Okay, and this is by Tracy Corduroy and Joe Berger. Okay, I don't know about you, but we've all had crazy nannies, so this is good. My granny's rather different, as you can plainly see. Her handbag pops and hisses and her pets are slippery. Her house is in a quiet street, although it's kind of batty. She'd have the neighbours round for tea, except they're not that chatty. One day I helped my granny out. She had so much to do. We tidied up the kitchen shelves and cleaned the fridge out too. We opened up the cupboard door, but there was nothing there. Who's eaten all the crisps? Ah, oh, I sighed. Nice pets are meant to share. The bats all blushed, the cats just shrugged. The frogs were windy popping. Don't worry, dear, my granny grinned. We can just go shopping. So granny took me to the shops. No crazy stuff, I said. But granny didn't seem to hear and waved her wand instead. Oh no, I gulped. My eyes grew wide as magic filled the air. And biscuits danced and popcorn popped. And soap chased underwear. Woo. Next, Granny found the runner beans and sent them on a race. Get ready, steady run, she cried. I groaned and hid my face. She swished her wand, no stop, I yelled. Oh, now it's raining bees. The monkeys burst up from piles of fruit and made banana trees. Now, Granny, magic animals of boxes, jars and tins, small yappy dogs and guinea pigs, and cats with Cheshire grins. Fish fingers sprouted heads and tails and swam off to the door whilst leaving itty bitty trails of breadcrumbs on the floor. Oh, Granny, what a mess, I cried. She'd gone too far again. I shook my head and Granny blushed. I'll clean it up. But then I spied a really naughty thing, a truly dreadful sight. Two robbers filling up their sack. Oh no. I gasped in fright. I showed my granny path, she said. We'll get that rotten pear. Now let me think, what can we use? Ah, yes, it's chocolate bear. My granny grinned and swished her wand and with a giant pop, the chocolate bear sprang into life. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh my God, that's me. That's a big bear and made those robbers stop. Pay attention. Some officers appeared and took the horrid thieves away. Then everybody clapped and cheered and shouted, hip hooray! Oh, Granny, you're the best. So what if you are wild? You are you and I am me. And we're a team, I smiled. home my granny cooked us up a tasty treat for two just as you like it dear she winked no flies or froggy poo then suddenly the doorbell rang ding dong who could it be just look who's here it's party time what fun i grinned yippee okay well that's it for this time i'll see you again on stories with rosie when i look forward to reading you